Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Goodham, Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. In this video, we're going to look at the various ways of controlling colors in a chart. Uh, there's actually four major ways you can control colors in a chart. The Color tab in the Properties, the Visual Cues tab in the Properties, and then actually on the Dimensions and Expressions themselves. Many of you will be familiar with going into a chart and then going to the Color tab. and Then you can go here and select colors. One thing you'll notice with ClickView in any spot you pull up a color dialog, you have lots of different ways you can control that color, including fixed, where you actually just select the color itself, or you can do calculated, where you can calculate that color. I like to use calculated uh, in a lot of my apps, and the way I use that is I can actually calculate the color and use a variable, uh, and then I can control all of my colors uh, using variables. So if I want to change them, I'll be able to change that, that particular color uh, across all the uh, locations in the app. Take a look at the video, Reusing Expressions within ClickView. Uh, there's a link below. And that will take you to how to set up uh, variables to be reused across multiple uh, locations within ClickView. And it's the same concept uh, when doing it with colors. So that's the first place we can control our colors within the chart. So we just simply select on any color we, we'd like. Um, or we can throw it in the calculated th spot, and we can choose a color. Now when choosing a color in the calculated uh, field, we have a few different ways we can do that. We can actually type just a color in. There's several basic colors uh, like red. You just type in red, open, close parentheses, and that will change your color to red, just like that. Your other option is to put in the RGB color. Uh, so you can type in uh, RGB, it stands for red, green, blue, and then you put in the color values for red, green, and blue between uh, 0 and 255. So if you want a, gray, a nice gray, you can go 150, 150, 150, and you save it like that. And that'll give us a gray. We also have the option when we're doing uh, colors is we can use the color wizard, uh, and that will do a color mix, and that will dynamically change the colors based on various other values. And you can just follow that wizard through. It works pretty well. I won't demo it in this video. We're going to focus more on where we can control the colors from instead of setting specific colors. So the first one we covered here was the color tab, and that's available in all chart types except for the straight table and the pivot table and the gauge. The other uh, major spot that colors get controlled uh, is in the visual cues tab. So that's only available in straight tables and pivot tables. So we'll go into this straight table here. And we have a visual cues tab here. And it will take the expression, and you can just set some colors based on being greater than or less than a specific value. So in this case, uh, if we say it'll be green if it's greater than 500,000, and it'll be red if it's less than 150,000, let's say. And this here is going to control the text color. We hit apply, and then the text color will change. And you can see that. Uh, Oops, I made it 15,000. We'll make it 150,000. There we go. So the 680 turned green, uh, and everything below 150,000 turned red. We're controlling things at the data value level uh, as aggregated. Uh, and you can do the text, and you can also do uh, background, italics, bold, and things like that if you, if you choose to, however you want that to look. Well, that works really well for straight tables and for pivot tables. However, if I wanted to have something similar, say over here in this bar chart, I, there is no visual cues tab. So that brings us to uh, another way of adjusting colors, and that's using in the expression. So if you go to an expression and you expand out that particular expression, you have formatting things for that particular expression down here. And what I can do is I can say for the background color, if I'm using a bar chart, I put an expression in here. And this particular expression, we'll do the same thing we did before. Um, we can say if sum sales, which is the expression we are using, is greater than, uh, let's say, 300,000. Then we're going to make it red. And, and I'm using just the word red. I could use an RGB color here. Otherwise, we'll make it blue, let's say. So now it's going to look at each aggregation, so at the country level in this particular chart, and it's going to make a determination on what color to, to, to make that. So you see here, the ones above 300,000 are red, and everything else turns blue. 
this gets a little bit confusing for some people, um, and for including myself, uh, because I, I have the same sort of thing in the dimensions where I can choose a background color and, and the text color. That's the fourth way that we can control color. So, we can, so, so far we've had color tab, Visual Cues tab, Dimensions, and Expressions. So in Dimensions, that will actually control the text over here, except that only works in straight tables and pivot tables. So that would actually be the text over here. So if I go into this part, I can go to the dimension, and I can change the, the, the text color right here. So if I want to set it to a specific color, say I wanted to just make this um, green, I can just do green like that. And then you'll see um, the background color for all of those categories turns green. Uh, if I wanted to make the text a particular color, maybe I want to make it white, like this. And then I can control the actual text color as well. Now, I may want to do, uh, be a little more sophisticated. And of course, in here I can be. And I can, can use an expression like I did before and say if uh, some sales is greater than 300,000 and green, otherwise red. And that will enact on the background color here for anything over 300,000 and make the background green, otherwise the background will be red, like that. So just as a review, there's four major places you control colors and charts in ClickView. Uh, the first place is if we go into the properties of any chart except for a pivot table, straight table, or gauge, and you just go to the color tab. Inside the color tab, or actually inside any spot where you can control colors in ClickView, you have lots of choices here, including calculated colors, and I recommend using a variable to define those calculated colors so you can reuse the same colors across multiple objects in multiple locations. The second spot that you can control colors is using visual cues in straight tables and pivot tables only. And that's the tab right here. And you just simply put in the values you want, and then it will display that. You then can also control colors at the dimension level for straight tables and pivot tables. And that will actually change the text of the dimensions displayed based on the colors you're looking for. And finally, we can control colors using the expression that will typically be done in visualization charts, so not straight tables or pivot tables. Uh, and you will do that in the Expressions tab. And that's where you can do things such as making different bars different colors uh, based on the values of the expression, or actually anything else. So these bars could be different colors based on margin, even though the bar itself is showing sales. That concludes Click Few Tips for today. If you have any more questions, uh, please post them below, either in Click Community or on YouTube. Also, don't forget we have Click Community, and, our, and Click Text partners and expert services are available to assist you with your specific deployment. Thank you. Thank you.